And what we're doing is so new, we're pretty much building the train tracks while we drive the trains. This is the power of video games and the underrated power of virtual worlds and games in all ways. They're, they're the best way for people to start to imagine what could be because they're participatory, they bring together complex models of the world and they become really powerful tools for us to sort of see ourselves. A virtual reality and simulation won't predict the future, but what we will do is give us an intuition into how the complex systems that define our lives operate. We have precious little insight into how economies, physical infrastructure that we're creating, futures of autonomous vehicles are really going to operate and simulation could become a pathway for us to understand those things. The grandest challenge is being able to answer what if. What happens if I implement this policy? What happens if um, you know, this decision is made or if this piece of infrastructure fails. Storytelling actually was what inspired me to get into this because uh, it was always trying to think about how we might tell stories in big virtual worlds that kind of fascinated me. And questions of morality and what this future would look like, questions of how we get there, um, technical problems, all manner of things. More can be done to look at these questions as a whole. And you know, one way of doing that is by developing well-formed visions of the future that include many different technologies and ideas and where policy can consider that holistically. And that's very difficult to do when, when things are changing. Um, but better collaboration with tech leaders could be a great way of doing that. In any environment in which people are able to use technology to build things together, massive simulations or virtual worlds that they can collaborate in, that fosters an opportunity for empathy and interaction, which in turn would result in people from perhaps very different factions and backgrounds being able to interact with each other and collaborate. I've always been fascinated by problems and, and I'm always fascinated by the, the sort of objective truth that can come from uh, mathematics and problems where you can reason your way forward, um, often with less ambiguity than in other places. Improbable is going to be an operating system, a platform uh, with spatial OS, on top of which academics, uh, people in defense, uh, engineers, game developers, lots of people can begin to create things. So we see ourselves as really an enabler, um, and in that way we hopefully bridge the gap between the different domains. The core problem that we solve is how to split up the work required to model something as complex as a city or power a massive virtual world. Because if you can split up that work, you can run it on farms of thousands of different machines, such as are available in the public cloud. But to split it up, it turns out that you need to conduct a very complex game of musical chairs, moving around computation and managing uh, all the disparate components involved. And that, in a nutshell, is what, uh, what we do. I think disruption, whether you believe it's a positive or constructive force, is certainly an inevitable outcome of just every way in which we're set up as, as human beings. So I'm not sure one, one can see it any, as anything other than the weather, and it requires preparation and thought. In crafting visions of the future and understanding the implications of technology, that's the, where the creative sector can be so powerful. Uh, science fiction has always presaged science fact, um, and it can offer us a window into what could be. So I think the writers and creatives that paint these pictures for us are, are vital tools to, to understanding how to regulate things that aren't invented yet. I mean, I'm a technologist, so you know, my fundamental view is that the balance of innovation results in more good than it does harm. Um, although there are many problems in the world today, by many measures, the world is better than it's ever been in terms of health, in terms of quality. Um, overall, uh, there have been much darker periods in our history, so I'm optimistic about the future.